WNBA Coach of the Year praises Caitlin Clark, Indiana Fever, they don't fear anyone. Smash that like button if you're loving these highlights. Don't forget to subscribe for more WNBA action. The two teams have faced off three times already this year, Connecticut emerging victorious all three times, but White noted that the team they're facing today is a completely different team than the one they played in May and June. Anytime you're a young team that's that's really growing into yourself, the understanding of one another, the timing, the pace, the connectedness just wasn't quite there early. White said of Indiana, it's there now. The Fever began their season 1-8 and seemed destined for the lottery. But, they turned things around in mid-June, and have won 11 of their last 17 games. They now, avenue a 2.5 game over the sky for the number 7 seed. If the playoffs started today, the Fever and Sun would face off. White, the 2023 WNBA Coach of the Year, attributed the Fever's growth to their improved chemistry and comfortability with one another, and in particular, with Caitlin Clark. Clark is averaging a league-best 8.2 assists per game, and set an all-time WNBA record for most assists in a game back in July. Everybody on the floor understands how, when and where Caitlin Clark can get them the ball. And so they get there, White said. Kelsey Mitchell's obviously playing at another level now, and so it gives you another player on the floor that you have to be mindful of, on and off ball in isolation and in two-man. Mitchell has been the league's leading scorer in August so far, averaging 26.3 points per game. Area Boston has recovered from a slow start to the season and is now averaging 13.9 points and 9.2 rebounds per game. And Both Mitchell and Boston go. have played well off the court, and the wins have followed. In their last 10 home games for Indiana, they snap an 11-game losing streak to connect.